If your CSS ever didn't work, it's not because CSS is hard, it's because you didn't understand this one format. And once you get it, CSS will finally make sense. In CSS, everything you write follows one simple structure. This is called a CSS rule. Now let me explain this like I'm explaining it to you for the very first time. First, the selector. I already made a video explaining the four types of simple selectors. Check it out for full details. The link is in the description. But let me explain it briefly here. A selector answers one question. Who are we styling? If I want to style all paragraph elements in my HTML document, I select the paragraph elements. If I want to style headings, I select headings. Without a selector, CSS doesn't know where to work. In this video, I'm selecting all paragraph elements. Next, the curly braces. Curly braces tell the browser everything inside here is style for this selector. Think of them like a box. Anything inside that box belongs to the selected element. Now let's move on to the property. A property tells CSS what part of the element you want to change. Is it the text color? Is it the background color? Think of a property like clothing, for example, shoes. Here, shoes represent the property. They answer the question, what are you wearing? Now let's move to the value. A value answers the question, how do you want it to look? If the property is color, the value could be red, yellow, or any color you choose. The same thing applies to background color. You simply choose how you want it to look. Think of it this way. If shoes are what you want to wear, that's the property. Sneakers, boots, or sandals, those are the values. So remember it like this. Property equals what. Value equals how. Finally, the colon and the semicolon. The colon connects the property to the value, and the semicolon tells CSS, this line is finished. It works just like a full stop at the end of a sentence. If you forget either one, CSS will start giving you problems. Once you understand this structure, learning new CSS properties becomes easy. In my next videos, I'll start teaching you important CSS properties one by one, so follow or subscribe if you don't want to miss it. And remember, if you don't have a laptop, this is your space. I teach web development using just a smartphone.